We're following breaking news out of Henrico, where an investigation into an officer-involved shooting is underway right now, and three people have been taken into custody. Good evening, I'm Candace Burns. And I'm Julie Bragg, and tonight for Bill, our Jake Burns has been on the scene there outside of an apartment complex right off Broad Street, and he joins us now live. Jake? Yeah, Julie and Candace, I can tell you, we just got that breaking news just literally moments ago from Henrico Police. They are now telling us that this whole situation developed because of an attempted robbery. We are also told that three people are now in custody and those charges against those people are pending. Here's what we've learned throughout the day as we've been out here on scene. Take a look. Blue light stream to Silver Stream Lane in Henrico's West End. Oh God, like. That was really close. Devin Johnston working outside a little after 2 p.m. and across Broad Street when she hears gunshots. All of a sudden we hear like three gunshots and uh, everyone was like, oh my God, what was that? And then my uh, managers started running over, locking up the doors, chaining them up. Henrico police say their officers were in the area on a quote, unrelated investigation when they witnessed two men shooting at each other at the Copper Mill Apartments. These officers were able to quickly engage these individuals and ultimately a Henrico police officer did discharge his uh, firearm. One of the men was taken to the hospital with what police are calling non-life threatening injuries. The officers were told were not hurt, but the other man involved was not taken into custody on scene. As you can only imagine, uh, this is a uh, heightened incident in which officers were in the area on an unrelated matter, uh, observing the shooting take place and they had to quickly act. Officer involved shooting investigators now working this case. It was just me out there and then like one other person and he like went to his car as fast as he could and I'm just sitting there like, oh, well, should I leave too? For Johnston, a scary situation nearby that could have been much worse. It could have, you know, went a lot further than it did. Just to reiterate a couple points, the person who was not taken in custody on scene, Henrico police tell us, now in custody. Also, Broad Street was blocked off for several hours earlier today. It is now back open. As you can see back behind me, police do remain on scene, continuing the, with this officer-involved shooting investigation. We also know that charges against the three people taken into custody are currently pending.